Hello everyone, and welcome to the worst level of Banjo Kazooie. Oh god, I hate this level. Oh, why do I have to do it? Okay, so let's pray to freaking god we don't die here. Because that would be very, very bad. Luckily, these don't have a time limit on them. I think it's as long as you don't die. Uh, uh, excuse me. Anyways, um... There are some precautions I'm going to take while here, um, in order to ensure that I, that if I do die, that I will not lose anything. So, um, for the most part, I can do all this level without dying. There is just one or two mission, or not missions, like jiggies, I guess you could call them, that you need to get that are extremely hard to get. And I will most likely die trying to get them on the first try. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure I collect all the notes and Jinjos before even attempting those. So basically what she means is if you're, even if you surface on the water, you'll lose air anyways. Since Banjo's a fucking retard, he can't even jump onto this goddamn box. I didn't mean to do that, but under the water, you'll... If you go underwater, you'll lose twice the air. Yeah, I think you guys figured out why I hate this place so much. I have heard of people who claim this to be their favorite level. All I have to say is, you're crazy. Because there is absolutely nothing good about this level. I guess if you like, kind of like the environment, which I can kind of get, like kind of like with me and Click Clock Wood, people call me crazy for liking that, for calling that level one of my favorites. Because it's probably the hardest level in the game, but one, I like the challenge, and two, I just like the environment in general. So I guess somebody could kind of like the environment here, I guess. Shit, I forgot how to get out of here. Oh yeah, you gotta go out through this door. Okay, now, quite obviously, you want to spend as less time in the water as possible. So whenever, so be on the surface as much as possible, and when you are, make do what I'm doing. Just keep jumping, and it'll loot, and you'll use um a lot less air. Now, and, uh, what do we have left to do? I mean, I have plenty to do. I'm just trying to think of what should we. Do. What should we start with? And yes, I do know there's a Jinjo out there on that buoy. What the hell, I'll save him. Of course, Snacker's in here. No, they just couldn't make this level bad enough. Level just isn't bad enough by the fact that you can that you lose so much air while in the water. Oh no, they gotta add snacker to the fucking equation. God, did I mention I hate this level?
All right, I think it's pretty easy to tell that you should not even touch that green substance. Yeah, take that as an example. So stay on these cans, barrels, whatever you want to call them, as much as possible, and do not fall in there because you will die. It's radioactive, I guess, I don't know. Oh, these jackasses. Yeah, they explode. And they do a shit ton of damage to you, too. Climb, 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 climb. Now run, run like you've never run before. Ah, yes. Eat that. And be careful because some of these pipes um, are fake and will eat you. Yeah, they, I think they look kind of funny in their sailor suits. Okay, the red spots, don't touch them. They're hot. You know, we don't even need anything in there. It's just eggs. Okay, I'm pretty sure you don't get hurt by going in here. Okay, you do. Yes, because I am an idiot after all. I guess I should have that coming. Okay, like that one right there is obviously going to attack you, and like it just did, and I have one fucking honeycomb left. I swear to fucking god if I die. Uh, you guys might find it entertaining, but I will rage like there's no tomorrow if I die here. I might, it might even just be so bad you guys won't even get to see it. Okay, let's keep going. Sorry, this level's probably not gonna have much um, entertainment to it because I'm obviously trying to pay a lot of attention and because I hate this level with a burning passion. I won't add, I'll try to add as much entertaining commentary as possible, but um, the most laughs you guys will probably get from this is me raging or just the sheer fact that I'm scared like hell.
get out of here. We gotta jump on these. You know, it's probably easier to freeze the boxes. Okay, let's keep exploring this dreaded hell of a level. When I say hell of a level, I do mean it. This level is hell on earth. No doubt about it. Yeah, I think that one over there is fake. Yes. Good thing we have a lot of eggs on us, because we're going to need them here. Okay. It's very vital that you come down here, because you need to hit that switch. Let me just make sure I'm not missing anything. We need to slow those fans down. When we get in that room, oh boy. Pray to God that you survive in there. And I do mean this, enter that room last. Make sure that is the very last thing you do. Make sure you have all the Jinjos and notes before you go in there, because unless you want to well, obviously, there's probably going to be notes in there, but the point is, try as hard as you fucking can. Because as you all know, if you die, you lose all your notes and your Jinjos, you have to recollect them all. I am in no mood to do that, although I'm probably going to have to do it anyways. Should I do this mission now? Yes, I can. Uh, come on, you can make it! Like an inch there. Okay, we got the jiggy ready. Alright, so we got the grunty pad out of the way. Flap flipper de bipper de bopper de boobity babity bibi jump is useful only for high jumps. The double jump's useful for well everything else. And that 64-bit awesome explosion. So even though I love this game, it's one of my all-time favorite games. Whenever I do a playthrough of this game, like whether it's just like for myself or if I'm doing it for recording or speedrunning purposes, oh my god, you guys have no clue how much I hate this level. When I'm like, I, I I have fun the entire time, and then I'm like, ah, oh, no, now I gotta eat rest of bed, hey, rest of bed, blah blah blah. Oh.
fucking camera. Like I said before about N64 camera games. There we go. Okay, that was a lot luckier. I'm not really good with those TNT boxes. I usually get killed by them. Oh, there's another one. Oh, sick. I could use that. We're stuck on some eggs. Okay, nothing left in here. Fuck you, you fucking sailor. Oh, you're so getting it now. Alright, we got one more Jinjo to go. That's good. My main concern is the notes, though, since there's so many of them. Um, I think we got everything. Just take a quick look around. Uh, you know, we should probably get that Momo token. If I can figure out how to get up there. Hmm. There we go. There's a lot of Momo tokens in this level. You know, it's probably because Rare kind of... Because they knew that you would need 25 for the Click Clack Wood. So they put a ton of them in here and in Click Clack Wood. see it from here. Ah, crap. I don't think I remember where the purple Jinjo is. I'm sure he's right here somewhere. He's not that hard to get. Alright, anyways, we're back on the ship. Let's explore some more of the dreaded rusty bucket ship thingamajigger. Bitch, please. Oh, no, 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 no. I want to avoid him. I want to avoid him. Okay, that one opens. Ah, uh, the captain's cool. 
quarters. That's actually a pretty clever spot to put that thing. Wow, we only have three jiggies. Well, then again, I'm mainly focused on getting notes and gingos, so I'm, I shouldn't be that surprised. Go away. Okay, three, one, two, one, one, one. Remember that number, guys. That will be very important later on. It's pretty easy to remember, though. That's a nice thing. And this must be where the crew sleeps. Get out of here. And if you look right there, it's a Conquer Easter egg. Many of you know Conquer from Conquer's Bad Fur Day. That was one of Rare's best games. Although back then, probably back when this game was around, they were probably making um, the original version of Conquer, which was originally going to be another platformer, but I think Rare decided that there were so many platformers on the market they wanted to make a different game, so they made a very mature sort of game, Conquer's Bad Fur Day. Thank <laughs> you.